Hello, my name is Tony from Zay Photographic, and I'm just going to show you my backpack setup for camping, hiking, and uh, backpacking with my photography gear set up. Just kind of what I carry with me and uh, what I use, you know, when I'm going out onto the trail. This is my uh, Peak Aspiration Arn backpack. They're out of New Zealand. Great pack. It's balanced front and forward by these balance bags that go on the front side. My camera gear goes up there, so it's nice up front for me, and I can grab it easy when I need to go photograph something. The rest of my stuff will fit back here. This is about a 45 liter bag, which is great for two, well, about three to four day excursion. I can get all my equipment in there, so it works out pretty well. So what I generally carry, uh, this is uh, what's usually gonna be in this bag. So I kind of just go through the different items. Right here I've got my tarp tent, it's a double rainbow. It's made for two people, it's an ultralight tent. Only weighs, it weighs just under three pounds for this tent. Uh, I've got a liner that goes in there and such, great uh, unit and keeps me nice and dry and it's big enough for two people. And if it's just me, it's great because then I've got plenty of room for all my equipment, my bag can go in there and I can move around and I'm very comfortable. My sleeping bag is a Kelty 20 degree down bag. I've got it in a dry uh, compression sack, that way it won't get wet. So if any way water gets into my bag for any reason, it keeps my, uh, my sleeping bag rather uh, dry. So it's very important to keep that dry. I've got a Thermarest insulated pad, keeps me insulated from the ground, so keeps you a little bit warmer. So, and it keeps you more comfortable because you're not sit, laying directly on the ground. So I have that. Uh, to go into my sleeping bag, I've got a silk liner sleep sack. It's nice if it's really hot, if you're sleeping out, say in the desert areas and such. I live in Arizona, so uh, we've got, of course, the desert here, so I get a bit of that. But I could sleep actually in this really comfortably, a breeze, and that would keep me you know, comfortable at night when it's a little bit warmer. And it also is good, so if you're in an area with bugs and stuff and you're using bug lotion like with DEET in it, that can damage your bag. This will help protect it. You can wash this nice and easily. Other things, uh, this is my Thermarest. It's just a basically a pillow case, so I can stuff my fleece jacket in there and such. Then I have a, sleep, a pillow to sleep on that doesn't fall apart or I don't have to carry an actual pillow that has to be compressed down. This doesn't take up much room at all. Uh, just extra clothing and stuff. I've got my wool socks, wool hat, wool gloves. I like these because they wick the sweat away, keep you warm and you know keep you comfortable. They breathe really well. So just added comfort. I also have extra clothes here just in case, an extra pair of pants, socks, underwear. So if I get wet, you know, this is a backup. We've got a uh, hiker's wool. This was nice. This came, actually came with my arm backpack. They sent me this along with the pack when I purchased it. It's for if you're getting blisters and such, you can actually wrap that area with the hiker's wool. It'll actually keep that blister from uh, popping and becoming worse. So it uh, actually will help if you're a hiker to have this. And they sell it at the ARN website. Some other things I've got, let's see, we've got for food. Um, my food setup, I have a GSI cook set, uh, the Duelist one. So I basically have a setup for two people. In here is also my gas uh, stove with the Soloist gas burner and a canister. So all that's right in here. So everything I need to cook for the most part is in this unit. I've got um, a cup with uh, graduated measurements for uh, different you know, cup, quarter cup, that such thing. And also a scoop spoon if I need it. So just a couple of utensils basically for cooking and uh, eating with and whatnot. Also, my knife, it's a uh, Bear Giles uh, Grills knife. So it's a Gerber, I like it, it's nice and light and I like the Gerber brand, I've always had good luck with them. So that's why I got it, not so much because I'm a big fan of him. But uh, rope line and I've got an extra stuff sack just in case. And actually I've got these, uh, they're like Ziploc bags to keep the scent out from ex escaping beyond the bag. So it's good for, if you're in bear country, 
the smell of your food doesn't get beyond the bag. So it's supposed to seal it in and keep it uh, from wandering miles and bringing in the bears. So the food will actually go in that at night. You put it up in the, the bear bag and get it off the ground. So you can keep it away from the bears if you're in bear country. Getting on to food, I've got basically this is my food pack for about three to four day excursion. I just put this together but because I'm getting ready for a camp out here sh shortly. But there's like meals for four days. I've got apple pie in here. There's soups and um, Indian food. I've got pasta, just kind of a whole mix of different foods and cereals. I like oatmeals and stuff for breakfast, and they're all dehydrated. I dehydrate my food, keeps it lighter. I mean, this is two pounds of food, and this is about four days worth of food for a trip. So it really lightens the load. I also have uh, snack bars, energy bars, hot chocolate, tea. So that's another little pack, and that one's just under a pound. So total, we're at about three pounds for the food. So pretty good, you know, keeps off the weight. Uh, toiletries, you know, toothbrush, deodorant and uh, pills, aspirin and stuff like that, just in case. I have some iodine uh, tablets for if I need to, to basically filter water beyond just my normal filtration system. So got that. The, the filtration system, this is my filtration setup. It's uh, platypus bags, a Sawyer filter, and my own uh, carbon filter to get, basically get rid of uh, funny taste and color. It'll help clear out the last of the water. So I can scoop up water with this and filter about eight liters of water. So I can be pretty well set with this setup and it's really easy to use and uh, pretty efficient. So, and I'm pretty happy with this setup. See, and then I've got an extra little platypus uh, one liter bag that just rolls up. It's nice because it doesn't take up any space other than, you know, those larger uh, or bottles. So try to keep it small. I have a two liter hydration that slips into the back of my, uh, my arm backpack. So that way I've got water easily accessible and I have to grab the extra ones. Some other things, this is my, uh, my emergency bag with just a variety of things. I have duct tape in here, uh, light sticks, band-aids, matches, um, just a variety of things. Uh, also a, a towel in here, uh, like it doesn't take up much room at all. And then uh, deep wipes for bugs and stuff. So just a variety of things, it sits at the top of my bag. So if I'm with somebody that can easily grab it out, we don't have to dig for it. So. Got a variety of things in here. Hand warmers, these are great. Just uh, you can put them in your pockets, keep your hands warm. Or if uh, at night, if it's too cold, pop one of these in your sleeping bag. It'll help warm up the bag a little bit more. You can keep it near your feet. So that's those. I also have a flint and steel just in case if I run out of matches or whatever. Nice backup just in case if you uh, lose out on the matches. So. Just an added little thing that probably just needs to go in my thing. My uh, emergency bag. Uh, bear bell, just in case if you're in bear country. Again, like putting the uh, food up in the tree to keep it away from the bears. Uh, this kind of is supposed to help, you know, just kind of tread them off a little bit if they hear noise coming. So hopefully that will help. You know, don't want to get in the way of bears. It's probably good to get a bear repellent if you're in bear country, like up in California. Uh, some of the mountains up there have, you know, black bears, grizzly bears, so that might be a good uh, backup choice if you're going into those areas. Um, I have a headlamp, so this is, you know, if I'm walking around at night, I can see where I'm going. Also, I can hang this in my tent and use it as a night light, so, you know, get some light in there for reading or whatever if I'm going to do that. And last but not least, my photography gear, which is probably the, you know, biggest portion of weight within its own self. And I've got, this is kind of my basic setup of what I carry. Um, I, got, I have these sleeves in case if it's raining, I can still photo shoot and um, basically keep my equipment safe. I've got a cleaning pack in order to clean my lenses, whatnot, make sure that I keep everything clean, dust free. Uh, this is where I keep my, my memory cards. So I've got a whole slew of memory cards in here, keep me going for days. These are uh, neutral density filters. 
So keep those in there just in case if I have to bump down lighting or whatever. Uh, a variety of lenses, I basically carry a 35 millimeter lens, which I shoot with quite a bit. Um, but I have a couple alternates I like to bring. I bring a ultra wide, um, well for this, their wide angle, which is a 10 to 22 millimeter. I do have a macro lens because I do like to do some macro photography when I'm out doing uh, camping and hiking. And then this is my more normal all around lens, which is a 70 or two, 24 to 70. Uh, this is the heaviest of the beasts. Um, if I can help it, I'd try not to even take that one. A lot of people going uh, nature photography will actually bring a, a 70 to 200. That's more heavier than I want to carry. I'm not doing a whole lot in the way of animal photography, so I don't feel I really need a longer lens like that. So most of the stuff I do, I'm actually looking for wider angle type lens. So that's kind of where I'm at. I carry two camera bodies. Uh, my 40D, which is this one here, and that's an infrared camera. So I like to do a lot of infrared photography. Here I just have as an example 20D, but I'm actually gonna be carrying my 70, which is right now videotaping us. I also carry the tripod that's sitting on. I should have put it on a different tripod, but anyway, I uh, carry that one. It's a Vento and, or Venro, excuse me. And <clears throat> I really like it for a tripod. There are probably lighter ones out there, but it's not too heavy of a tripod. And last but not least, batteries always bring plenty of batteries, so you're good for, you know, days out there. Um, so, yeah, so that's pretty much my setup. I've got all my gear to do uh, my backpacking. I can hike out to wherever I'm going to camp, set up camp, and go for days and, you know, do lots of great photography, come back and, you know, enjoy what I've done. So... That's my setup. If you have any questions, you can comment on the uh, site there. And uh, thank you. My name is Tony from Zay Photographic. And this is my uh, camping backpacking uh, photography setup. So thank you. Take care.